first off, look at that whole freaking John. We're not even talking about that. We're not even talking about that. Y'all seen that set up? We got my golf clubs in here. Today. Boom. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a package to unveil. I haven't made any golf videos in a while, but me, Dev, and um, Doc, Mimi, we plan on going to play golf uh, on Columbus Day, which is the 11th, which is a Monday, blah, 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 two weeks away. As you know, I bought a package set from Walmart, um, Nitro Blast Uh Honestly, I, I've, been, I've been getting kind of, you know, fairly um, okay at golf. Um, and just to up my game a little bit, I felt like I had to make the move soon to get new clubs. Not even new clubs, but like, you know, better clubs, I should say. Really, like, better clubs. Even if they use better clubs. With that being said, so I do watch a lot of um, Rick Shills. His videos are very tough. That's where I've been learning a lot from. Um, he also always um, talks about this website called uh, Golf Fitter. Golf Fitter is basically like offer up or like eBay, if you will, for like golf. However, Golf Fitter is um, based over in, in Europe. Like it's, it's, it's basically European like trading and everything like that. It's not for US. US, however, we have in the US Golf Avenue. And this package right here is from Golf Avenue. By the way, I ordered these golf shoes. The bottoms are freaking me out because I'm not sure if they're really golf shoes or not. Hopefully I can go play some golf with these bad boys because I'll be sick if I pay for these Jones and I can't. So that was a <laughs> that was the weirdest uh the weirdest time I had on trying to unbox the freaking box. I think I gotta do this standing up. I think that's the only way this is uh look like it's the only way this is going down. Alright so I'm gonna do this standing up just because it's feel like that's the only way this is happening. Um, it's all wrapped as one of the which is pretty weird. Oh here we I was getting kind of, I wasn't going to lie, I was getting kind of nervous. So, what I did was, um, the set that I had came with 11. Um, so I basically rounded up to get the full 14, and I also replaced my driver and my 3 wood. Um, my 3 wood was super chunky for some reason. <laughs> so I got a driver, I got a 3 wood, 5 wood, um, I got a 2 hybrid, and I, then I got a, um, a gap wood. Let me just, let me just get them out, let me just get them out. Dude, whoever wrapped these congratulations things? Well, come on, bro. Oh, these grips are actually tough. I'm happy that I bought from here. I was kind of skeptical. All right, and I have head covers for all of these things. First, we have our gap wedge. Like I said, I think this is Cleveland. 52 degree Cleveland gap wedge. Actually solid. I don't know if you guys can see the camera. So I have a gap wedge now. So I have for my wedges, Pitching wedge, sand wedge, and a gap wedge. Next up, I have my two hybrid. That's what that's what I mean. Like these these cheaper set this cheaper set that I've been using is tough. It's not a problem. Like, it's not a problem for you to learn or anything. But these just look so much better. It didn't cost me anything. Like the full, I got five clubs, two hundred dollars easily. And a lot of that was the driver. Like the driver was like one something. I think. Yeah, I was like one something, so it was like 25 for the rest each. So, it's not bad at all, man. A five wood, Mizuno five wood. Yeah, that's what I got, I got Mizunos. Got a Mizuno five wood to add to the bag. It's not replacing anything. This one's to add. And now to replace my three wood. That's what I mean, it's my three wood that I currently have. Look how chunky that is. Pretty, pretty brutal, bro. That new thing in there. Unravel this. So, like I said, they both were Mizuno, so I have Mizuno five wood. So that three wood to this three wood. You got the difference. I was like fatting almost a lot of shots. But like I had to try to fat this one. This one, you don't gotta try that on. And this last but not goddamn least. My guy right here. Slossa Slossa E. You hear me? Not that you know, but you know what it is. <sighs> I had to replace them. And I just started getting good with my driver, so hopefully this wasn't this doesn't jack me up at all. But we're replacing them. 
this guy right here. Ooh, Jesus, he's kind of tall. He is kind of tall. Tyler means R9. Oh my god. Bro, I love this jump. Oh my god. I love the way it looks. I love how it's like that. Look at that tee. Like I told you, I'm a beginner, bro, so I really don't. I, mean, I don't have preferences or anything yet, but this show looks mm. That Teller made R9, you know, 4, 460cc. Nothing too wild, but I cannot wait. I cannot wait to hit this freaking club. Five, 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 five. It's now 824. I'll never play with these old boys again. It's just a driver and a freaking three wood that I will place. Uh, any lefties out there, let me know. I'll get them to the you. What's going on people? So last night I showed you guys the new clubs that I got and the clubs that I got to replace clubs I had. So I replaced the driver, I replaced my three wood and um, that's it, that's all I did honestly. And then um, I added a gap wedge, a two hybrid and a five wood. So we're going to the range this morning just to go test those gloves out. Cause like I said, we're planning on going golfing very soon. Like time next course and um, I want to know how my clubs feel, honestly. Bruh, so we here at the range. Um, top of us to get started, honestly. I'm going to start with my gap wedge. Oh, bro, it's low key cold today. Honestly, it's really dumb cold. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> Alright bro, so 
Uh, after swinging the clubs around and everything, I love them Johns. Like, honestly, it feels good. It's, it's a lot more of just my swing that I need to realize, like, or, like, fix or, like, work on better. And I'm not getting enough power out of it. So that's really, that's more my swing than the clubs. The clubs felt good. The clubs felt way better than my clubs even felt. Like, I, I see the difference in them for sure. But the difference that I'm looking for, I'm finding out, is more so through my swing rather than through the clubs, if that makes sense. But let me go chop this video up. I think me and Satara are about to go to breakfast, um, so I'll catch you guys later.